Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I have 32 big money bolos coming your way. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. And these are coming from my featured members, members of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. Basically, they signed up to be in these videos, so they join memberships to get perks. If you're interested after you see this in joining, you can click on that join button, or there's a link down in the description of the video. To be in this video, you have to join at level two. All right, we are going to dig right in. In my video, I tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Um, these are Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items that you can hopefully buy low and sell high. So we are going to get started. And I'm going to give you, um, there's 11 different uh, resellers in this video, featured members. And I'm going to show you either their channel or their eBay store. And then I'm going to show you three bolos. This format is going to be a little different than how I normally do it. So let me know what you think in the comments. All right. So the first one is from Donatella Bottolino. And she has a YouTube channel. She has regular content but most of her content is wholesaling out pre-owned items that she picks up to resellers. And I have sourced from her on, I don't even know how many occasions now, a bunch. But you can find those unboxings on my channel. So the first item is a repeat, but she hasn't really been putting anything on eBay. So she didn't leave me with much to work with. And I thought maybe since I have so many new subscribers, maybe some of you did not see this one. This is a Tiffany and Company berry spoon. It's a spoon. And she sold this for $200. So, of course, Tiffany and Company is very sought after collectible item. But this is a very, very old. I think it's sterling silver, if I remember correctly. But sold it for $200. She picked this up in a storage unit. Yep, right there. It's Mark Sterling. Um in a storage unit. And she does have footage on her YouTube channel of that. So she buys storage units sometimes and she does uh, record. So those are really fun to watch. All right. So the next item she sold is this purse. That took a long time to load. Hopefully that's not going to happen the whole video. It is um, mm, Anna Shuka. I don't know. It's a hand painted purse. It's a hobo purse, but it's hand painted. And again, Donatella gets her items from like estate sales. She does buyouts um, from estates. She has different contacts. She used to own a thrift store. So she has a lot of people that just know of her and they will contact her with good deals. And they, sh they know that she's wholesaling it out. So the price has to work for everyone, but she gets fantastic stuff. And um, she's not really putting anything on eBay. I told her she needs to list so that I have something for my show. Um, but she did sell this purse. She took a best offer of $70. And you can see um, right here on the inside. And I saw where it was. There, right here is where it's signed. So I have never seen a hand-painted purse. So that is pretty cool. The next item comes from Auctions for You, which is um, Donatella and Bob... Don Oh my goodness, I can't talk tonight. Donatella Bottolino and Auctions for You are partners. Um, they live in different states, but they met through YouTube and they go back and forth on each other's channels. And most of the times you will find them live together on one channel or the other. And they're usually on like five or six times a week. So definitely um, subscribe to them both and look for, um, hit that bell notification. That'll alert you when they go on. But they have great inventory for resellers. All right. So T, who is auctions for you, her husband and her are a team. So she basically does YouTube and wholesale stuff out, but her husband will pick and choose stuff to put on eBay um, just to, to keep their store going. Uh, she sold this Star Wars Republic V-19 Starfighter. Uh, I don't know. It's, is it, I, I think it's a game. Let me see if I can figure this out. It's either a game or, oh, maybe it's a model, a, a model. 
let's see. I'm not really sure, but you guys, it sold for $265. Um, and the buyer paid shipping on that. And auctions for you, T just bought out a vintage toy store. I think she sold most of that inventory. What she did was reseller lots and people just gave her pre-orders and then she sent them out boxes. So I'm not sure how much of this she has left. Uh, this item is a Department 56 um, Uptown Motors Ford set of three retired tested. So Department 56 can do really well. Some of it's bread and butter. Some of it's big money. Uh, definitely look it up if you see it. You also want to look things over really well for like chips or cracks or defects because they are breakable. Um, again, she picked this up in a huge lot and sold it for $165.99 plus shipping. The next item is this Playmobil set. It is um, set number 3123, Knight's Castle, and it's from 1998, and it was new in the original box. This was, I believe, from a different toy buyout, and this one sold for $159.99 plus shipping. So the vintage Playmobil can definitely be a bolo. Always look those up. You guys, if you can get stuff that's sealed, new in the box, at a good price, grab it and go because it's pretty much, if you're getting it cheap, it's you're going to make your money back plus some money. But some of these, definitely look them up because they can go big money. The next item comes from Toledo Antique and they also do live shows over on their channel. Sometimes they'll do things like at Dollar Start and they do a lot of glass and breakables, but they are bolo finders. They also do estate sales, so they know their stuff. This is a Starrett outside joint caliper, 18 inches long. They got this at a garage sale for $2 and they flipped it on eBay for $80. So let me know in the comments, would you have picked this up or walked right past it? The next item that they sold are these Norma by Hovland. Uh, Oh, I know I'm going to say this wrong. Is it Limago, Limagos? Limagos? I don't know. But anyhow, they're dishes. And one thing that Toledo Antique is not afraid to do is ship huge lots of dishes. I'm going to tell you that I hate breakables and I would not even look twice at this because it would not be worth the time that it would take me to ship it and just the stress of worrying about it breaking. Um, but they picked this up at an estate sale for $18 and they sold it for $249.99 plus shipping. They do have a video over on their channel that shows you how to ship big lots of dishes like this. So you can check that out on Toledo Antique. And their third item here is another dish. This one is her Herend Hungary. Uh, blue garland porcelain hand painted. Is it hungry or hungary? I don't know. Uh, it's a possible. If you're new here, I'm known for not being able to pronounce things. So thank you for being here. I apologize. Um, I don't have time to look up how to say everything before the video. So hopefully the knowledge will uh, that you get from the bolos will cover up that part, that problem I have. Anyway, this bowl sold for $99.99. And it had, well, it looks like $18.57 for the shipping. So when you're shipping these things, it takes a lot of bubble wrap and a bigger box. So um, it can get a little pricey for the shipping. So that was an auction. And they got this at an estate sale for $20. Um, so $99.99 auction plus shipping on that. The next item comes from eBay store, It's All Goods 94. And she does not have a store, but I do have it linked down below. And that will take you directly into her items, like in the format that you see here. Um, she has a lot of toys, a lot of really cool, fun items. So definitely check out her store. She sold this Snow Trasher Snowboard. It's from the 1990s. And she got it at a church sale for $1 and she did take a best offer of $49.99 and the buyer paid shipping. So I don't know about you guys, but me, if I'm having a slow day and I know I've got a buck in something and somebody offers me, you know, 50 bucks, I probably would have taken it also. 
The next item is a Lego set of, uh, well, I should say it's a set of minifigures. And these are from Star Wars Clone Stormtroopers. It says lot of 12. So it looks like um, she's got six here and then six in the other picture. So I probably would have put all six in, or all 12 in the original picture if it was me, just so everybody knew they were getting 12. But um, nice little bolo there. She sold these for... $55. They sold within 24 hours and she got them at a garage sale for $5. So these little Lego figures, you definitely want to look them up. I like how she did this picture with the arms kind of facing up so you can see that it's missing the hands. So that's a good um, detail to add there. The next item is this Furby. It's a 1999 Furby baby with curly hair. I don't think I've ever seen a curly haired Furby. Look how cute it is. So these vintage Furbies can definitely be a bolo. Some of them go for big money. A lot of people are buying them and they're custom, they're customizing them. They're making them, uh, decorating them with, you know, fancy stuff, outfits and, you know, I don't know, but it's a thing. She got this at a garage sale for $2 and sold it for $39.99 plus shipping. I did see where some people are customizing them and then selling them. And then I think people collect them and just do it on their own to keep. The next item comes from the Thrifty Broad. And she does, she sells on multiple platforms. And this is her YouTube channel. So you can see here she's got lots of content. and. She gets a lot of stuff at the Goodwill bins. So this item came from the bins. So she's got approximately $2 in it and it sold for $45. It's a vintage pink full length slip art deco dress, 1920s, 1940s style. So I don't know a whole lot about vintage clothing. I'm not great with keywords. So check her out for more info on that. Look at the detail. That is so pretty. All right, let's see what else she sold here. She sold this vintage soft surroundings, long button down duster jacket. So again, I would not have known that was a duster. So that is a great keyword. And she got this at the bins also. This one was probably a little heavier. So she was probably closer to four to five bucks for that. And it sold for $80. And on Poshmark, the buyer typically pays the shipping. Comes from Be Carried Away, another person that sells vintage clothing and knows those keywords. So those are two great channels to check out if you're into vintage clothing and you want to know even regular clothing, just those keywords for like blouses and dresses, the things that um, are kind of tricky. Great keywords. Carrie here from Be Carried Away also sells a lot of hard goods. So you will get a lot of different types of content on her channel. All right, she sold this $300 Henry Bendel tote bag. This sold on Mercari, and she picked it up at a Salvation Army for $7.95. So you can see here that um, it sold for $69 and then the delivery fee. So the delivery fee, I believe, is based on weight and dimensions on Mercari now. It used to be different, but they have changed it. So $7.99 delivery on that. So I have heard of this Henry Bendel. I think I have sold something, but I don't think I sold a bag. I think it was something different. The next item she sold was on Poshmark. And it is this set of Pier One Ironstone Elizabeth Coffee Cup Tea Mugs, Flowers and Leaves. These came from the Salvation Army. She paid $3.99 for those. And they sold on Poshmark for $54 plus shipping. So Carrie um, sells on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. I think that's it. Um, I could be wrong. She may have added another platform. This she sold on eBay. It is a Chico's white lace denim jean jacket. And she got this at the Salvation Army for $3.99 and took a best offer of $60 plus shipping. So um, Chico's is one of those brands where some of it's bread and butter and some of it goes higher. So this was one of the higher dollar items. So again, great photos. Check her out. All of the links to all of the channels and eBay stores are linked down in the description. So be sure to go down and follow the eBay stores and subscribe to the channels. 
All right. This one comes from Vintage Barbie. Uh, she just started putting out content, but she's got um, an estate sale haul here and an auction preview. So if you're interested in where people take you with them into the places and you can kind of watch and see if they miss anything, check out those videos. All right. So the first item, uh-oh, I messed up on. Sorry, you guys, I had to go back in here. It's actually the two I'm going to talk about is this teddy bear here. And she said this teddy bear was really, really heavy. And she got it. She paid up for this. She paid $100 at an auction house for this and ended up selling it for $255 on auction. And then you've got the little porcelain doll right here beneath it. Um, it says Porcelain Rainbow by Monica Levings or Leving. I don't know. It's a 32 inch doll, never removed from box. She paid 50 for this at an auction house, and this one sold for $180. So, two really interesting items that I would not have expected to go for so much. Okay, and this one is a Mad Ball, a vintage Mad Ball from the 1980s. And you can see here it's got some issues. And this was picked up at an estate sale. And I believe there's footage of this on her one of her videos. And she got this for $1 and it sold for $22.99 plus shipping. The next item comes from the Rebel Reseller. And she is our plush expert of the featured members. She loves plush. That is mostly what she sells. But she is also very good at hard goods and toys. So be sure to check her out. All right, let's see. The first item she sold is this Jelly Cat Pink Dog. It is a big one. It's 28 inches. It's a stuffed animal. She got this at the Goodwill Benz. Now, the Goodwill Benz is by weight. This one is a little bit bigger, so I'm guessing she probably had about five bucks or less in this, and she sold this for $116.96 plus shipping. The next item she sold is this pitcher. It is a vintage Arizona cactus frosted glass pitcher. And she sold this for $161.95 plus shipping. Got it at an estate sale for $12. And the next item is these. Uh, they're vintage blow molds. They are Easter. And these are in excellent condition. She got these at a yard sale for $5 each. Took a best offer of $150 plus shipping. The next one comes from Mindful Recycle Terry, and she has an amazing YouTube channel, and she hasn't put out much content lately, but she did just release a video. Um, so I haven't even watched it yet, so I got to go over and check that out. It says, a state sale had me going crazy with trains, so it looks like she may have scored some, some big money bolos. She is like a big money bolo finder. Glassy Baby Snow Globe Candle Holder. Now, she did take a best offer of $150 on this, but it sold within a couple days, and she picked this up at the Goodwill for $2.99 plus shipping. So I can't remember which state she's in, but the state that she is in, she finds these Glassy Baby all the time, and they are big money. People will pay up for these. I mean... I've seen some of them go to $300. It just depends on the color. Most of them have a barcode on the bottom. It looks like this. So that's definitely something to look for when you're at those thrift stores. The next item she sold is this Mr. Christmas Winter Wonderland Fountain Boats figure from 1996. Super cool item. I wonder if you actually put water in it or if it's just supposed to give that illusion. I don't know, but it's really cool. Mr. Christmas has the coolest items, and most of the time they go for a nice return. She paid $30 at an estate sale for this, and it sold for $179 plus shipping. The next item she sold is this Fitz and Floyd Woodland Spring Rabbit Deer Cookie Jar. So it's like a canister type cookie jar. And here it's got the original box, it looks like. Super, super cute piece. She sold this for $147.97, and she got this at an estate sale for $12. The next, all right, you guys, we have Chosen Goods reseller, Carissa, and this is her YouTube channel, 
And she's taking a little break right now. She's got um, some medical stuff going on, but she will be back. And she has a really awesome uh, live show that she she does. It's called Coffee Chat. I'd thrift that. And she interviews different resellers. So super fun. Definitely um, sub her up and hit that bell so that you know when she comes back. All right. The first item she sold are these seeds, survival seed bank. And she got these free from her dad. And what a bolo, $102.22 on that plus shipping. Never seen anything like it. So they must um, be sealed in a way that it protects them and the shelf life must be really long. I don't know if anybody knows anything about that. Let me know in the comments. The next item she sold is this retired Scentsy Buddy. And it's from 2010. She bought um, a lot of six for $20, but she did buy, um, she went and bought the Scentsy packs. So her total cost per item ends up being $9.50. And she sold this for $47.32 plus shipping. So she just wanted to add the scent pack to, you know, make her items stand out. The next item she sold is this Serenity role playing game book. And she got this for 10 cents at a church sale and it sold for $28.53 plus shipping. The next item comes from Restored Glory and she does a lot of breakables. So she's kind of into that glass and those vintage items that I know nothing about. So if you want to learn about that, definitely sub her up. Um, she sold. This was an Etsy sale, this beautiful lamp. It's a vintage Buffalo Studios Art Nueve bronze oh, boudoir. I just got happy that I got Nueve right. And then I got this boudoir, boudoir, I don't know, Lily lamp with shade. She sold this for $180 and she picked this up for $40 at a flea market. The next item she sold is this Fenton Amethyst Carnival Glass Painted Rose Bowl Vase, and it is signed. She got this for $7.99 at a thrift store, and she sold it for $55. And her Etsy shop is Restored Glory. And then she sold these Port Moron, P-O-R-T-M-E-R-I-O-N, Botanic, Botanic Garden. Let me see here if we can get, um, I was hoping maybe they, there was like a signature or something on the back that we could see, but no, it's a set of four salad plates. So I would have walked right past these. Number one, I wouldn't have wanted to ship them. And number two, they just look like salad plates. So she got 60 bucks for these and the buyer paid shipping. And again, that sold over on Mercari. And she paid $4 for these at a thrift store. All right, you guys. I thought that was going to be 32 bolos, but it was only 31. So um, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you would like to be featured in a video like this, you can join memberships for perks. My channel is completely free. The memberships is for the perks. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for being here. And thanks for watching.